Hey, what's up guys? Teach over here come video today. Ah, oh, it's been a couple of weeks, I know. I know, I just checked my video feed and I'm like, oh shit, it's been two weeks. One of those weeks was me on holiday. Obviously I can't make videos while I'm on holiday. Um, you try and make a video at the seaside, it's fucking hard, okay? The wind is just it's too much, so you can't hear what word I'm saying. I've tried it before. The other week was me with commitment, so I've been away for a couple of weeks, and I do apologize, but it's all for good reasons, so... Uh, yeah, it's nothing nothing too big, you know. This is a video response to Olympia Yo. Um, if you don't know who the guy is, um, I'm gonna make a link to his channel. Um, before I talk about his particular opinion on a certain topic that he's been talking about, um, I want you to understand that I'm, I'm linking you to his channel so that you can subscribe to him because I don't hate on the guy at all um, I just feel like this particular point might have been uh, misinterpreted maybe it's just his pro something that he just picked up and didn't really understand it he made a video recently um, talking about the word pure in terms of decks now um, some terminology that you get in decks and uh, not decks in the game they are slightly differed depending on whether or not you're talking about casual or competitive now um, when you're talking about something like uh, pure. The word pure in terms of Yu-Gi-Oh um, is usually used when you're using deck building and it means when a deck does not use, is not assisted by a separate archetype. People go, oh yeah, it's not pure because you're using MST.co, Call the Haunted, I don't know, Mirror Force, and you're like, yeah, but the deck sucks without it. Like, you need staples. Staples are there and you can have a deck and it has staples and it's still a pure deck, you know? In my opinion, when you're talking about the word pure, um, especially in competitive sense because you will, you can use the word pure. It basically means a deck which um, is one archetype but it has help or it may not even have, it doesn't always need help but it can just literally be assisted by other cards. Like would you say that Fire Fist which used Bear, Card Card D and Wolf Buck, would you say that's Fire Fist? Um, no, I wouldn't say it's a pure because um, it doesn't really, um, it uses uh, lots of traps and stuff. But generally, the deck is more Fire Fist than anything else. So if you were to talk about the deck, you could call it Fire Fist, okay? But Olympia Yo, he said that, in his opinion, a deck is not pure if you're using outside help. If you have Wolfbuck and you have Card Card D, um, my particular, actually, that's, that's a good example. It's a bit gray area, but I think a more solid example would be Insectors. It, it cannot function in a competitive environment unless it has, um, Armageddon Knights, you know, that kind of Armageddon Knight Call the Haunted recursion, um, using a whole bunch of cards like Dark on Dragon, possibly. Um, in his example, he used Ghost Trick, and he said that Dark Creator, um, which is now the most popular variant of Ghost Trick, that particular variant does not it does not constitute the word pure because the deck uses those cards. It doesn't use single-handedly on its own. Just use Ghost Trick. So when I'm talking about that, when I'm talking about that that word it, it kind of like it can be misinterpreted by different people but I feel like in my opinion um, ghost trick is still a pure deck like because I would say that ghost tricks don't have to be pure because when I see trick or treat which is the Madolce combined with the hand traps of ghost trick um, if you combine them together you get trick or treat which is a deck which isn't pure because you're combining two different archetypes together but when you take away the Madolce and you put in dark creators um, dark support like a law of darkness um, dark on dragon and, um, you could put in anything else, you know, King Cabillo if you want to get back and make Ghost Trick Dullahan on, on, a, on a regular basis. Um, that particular deck, I still feel that that is pure because you are using a Ghost Trick engine, but the deck does not use other archetypes to assist it. You're not, you're not diverging the deck into two separate win conditions. The deck is still Ghost Tricks, you know. You use Janshi to flip it up and search more hand traps like uh, Spectre and Mary, and you get those, and then you do stuff like Dark Creator to further assist the recursion that you can get with its effect and, and get stuff back, and you can flip flop and get effects and stuff. So the deck is still Ghost Trick, like the deck focuses around Ghost Trick. I mean, when Ghost Tricks first came out, Mary wasn't out, and I believe there's a couple of other cards which went out at the time as well, but then Ghost Tricks evolved into this deck what it is now. So you can't really like say that sort of stuff so I feel like um, Ghost Trick is still a pure deck the, that particular Ghost Trick variant because there's a couple of people that have taken on the deck and they're doing quite well with it um, and I still feel like decks like Dark Worlds which use Dark Creator I still feel that is pure because you're not taking like another deck like Gravekeepers or something and then just going oh yeah it's a Gravekeeper slash Dark World, oh, it's pure though because it's mainly just Dark World with like maybe a spy engine. And it's like, no, 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 it's not, that's not pure. That's obviously combining two different decks. Like Hand 
Artifact Trap Chicks is like the furthest you can get away from a pure deck. So that's my opinion. You know, if you guys feel that like that is wrong, and you feel like Olympio's opinion is right, then um, I would love you to comment down below and discuss your opinion of the word pure, um, whether or not you you know, you know can take a side on it. But as I said before, um, go into his channel, subscribe to him. I think he's just hit 5k subs. So congratulations to him. And you know, take take this discussion, go to his channel, go to his video and um, go and have a little talk with him about it as well, because he's probably gonna be, he's quite good with his subscribers. So you can go and talk to him. But thanks for watching guys. Sorry it's been a couple of weeks, but I have been busy doing stuff. So um, hope you guys enjoyed watching and i hope to do some more videos soon but i still have a lot of commitments i'm going out in like half an hour so i just just about managed to get this video done so thanks for watching guys and until next time the tea lover is out